Hey guys, I'm back with another vlog and today I'm going to be talking about the differences between college and high school, in my own experience at the very least. So one of the biggest differences is the amount of hours you spend in class. So in high school, you spend about seven hours a day in class, including lunches and breaks. But in college, you spend about like three hours or so per day just actually going to class because the average college student takes about 16 units and that translates to about like four classes. So that's not actually too bad per day and you have a lot more free time with that. So unlike high school, your lunch time is set out for you. But in college, you plan your schedule however you want it to be. So you can choose to give yourself a lunch break between like 12 to 1 or 1 to 2 or you can just not give yourself a lunch break at all. But that's pretty stupid, don't do that. Although that does make college seem like it's easier because you spend less hours in class, it's actually just as hard because you have to spend more hours doing homework, learning the material, because in college, the material is just harder. So it actually doesn't translate to being easier. It just depends on like how many hours you spend on the homework and projects and etc. A huge difference between college and high school is your parents' supervision. So in high school, you're constantly being watched by your parents who are looking out for your grades, your health, etc. But in college, chances are your parents won't be there anymore for you. So you're on your own to look out for yourself. So that includes things like your health, your grades, getting lost, your bills, etc. It's a good experience because it prepares you for real life, but it's also a little bit scary once you first jump into it. I definitely did not know how to do my laundry when I first came to college. I, I had to ask for help. So inevitably, you may lose some of your ties with some of your friends from high school. So what I did was I made a group page and a messaging chat so that we can continue to talk to each other even though we're spread out throughout the US. And it really helps reconnect us because sometimes we just share a common struggle, whether it be like classes, you know, life, etc. And then when we're all back in the area, we use that group page and chat to like be like, hey, does anyone want to hang out? Is anyone down to chill? This is like oftentimes overlooked by a lot of people, but it does help maintain friendships. And I think a lot of friend groups coming out of high school disbanded because they didn't have something to reconnect them all. So I think having a group page and a messaging chat does help, but ultimately it's up to the specific individuals inside that group. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't make new friends in college. So in college you have a plethora of like opportunities to meet new people, whether it be clubs, sports, classes, etc. You should definitely take advantage of this because these people will be accompanying you for the next four years of your college career. And it's really important that you're not a loner because it makes school really tough because it's always nice to collaborate on homework assignments. It's nice to have someone to just chill with. It's nice to have someone to just talk to, you know? That's why when I went to college, I joined a club called ABA. And through that, I really found my family. I found my group of friends. And those are the people that I spend all my time with now. And I'm super glad I met them. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm almost at like 1,000 subscribers now, so I'd like to thank you guys all for like subscribing and following and liking my content. As always, if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to make a video on it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.